Hello, everyone. This is America's first permanent president, Grover Cleveland here. You know, sometimes I wake at night in the White House and rub my eyes and wonder if it is not all a dream. But you can follow Ryan O'Connor at Wrangleshank on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you. Ah. It's time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's ink the book. I said all kinds of stuff, and then you didn't hear me say all kinds of stuff. What a nut. What a wreck. What a fiery wreck. Well, the only one to say anything important was the president, so we all heard him, I'm pretty sure. Now I don't know what's what. Well, I do know this. It's time to draw. Get over here. Let's see. This is a page that should go pretty quickly. So it won't. Um, turn some light this way. Get some ink. I invited a bunch of cannibals onto the show. But who knows if they'll ever arrive. Hey, what love? How are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in a bit. It's good to see you. Um, I, I just woke up from a nap. And I'm good. I'm good. I was just working, and I came home, took a nap, and now I'm drawing. Um, trying to like. get back to a normal sleeping schedule now, but but I was feeling kind of rough this morning. Um, see, this is a quick page. 
or this ought to be a quick page anyway. But uh, where normally I would try to squeeze two pages in, I think. But I'm not. I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. I don't think I'd be able to pull that off in the, the last few hours of the day. Um, but I might try and do a morning one tomorrow and then an evening one. But every time I make a plan, it backfires on me. some other stuff I want to okay I'm remembering I'm remembering other stuff I wanted to do tomorrow as well which was check out that library I can do that tomorrow and so I can see if I can start scanning my pages there. And then, then what? Uh, oh, I want to figure out um, some other stuff I'm trying to work out for the show. This show. I'm trying to figure out how to make it more entertaining when I'm not feeling very entertaining. Like, like now when I'm like all groggy and sleepy. <laughs> uh, let's... Um. Oh, so I think my brother Liam was going to put that, uh, that last episode of that podcast that I was on, he said he was going to put it out anyway, even though he didn't like his sound. So I guess that's... He was editing it yesterday, and I think he's going to put that up in a day or so. So there's that. That's what's going on. Um... And then, other than that, we're drawing. That's all. That's all I know. I only know these things and nothing else. Here's a 
so much time. Oh, I'm not on screen. What a chump. This is the most thrilling uh, show I've ever put on in my life. I sound like cement drying. all I'm doing right now. Couldn't see the tip of the brush and I kept messing it up. Okay. These frogs have no idea what's going on. Focus! Focus! <clears throat> My hat is not going to be the camera, I think. So let's go.
he use his frog legs. Use the frog arms. And still the frog arm. And another frog arm. These frogs are now magical frogs that float. Ooh, frogs. <laughs> I am... I have the least energy of ever. You know what, if I, if I go to the, if I go to that library, no matter what happens, at least I'll have something to talk about, right? Oops. I can't even draw a cat and you can do frogs. There was a, I was saying yesterday, I think there was a while where I started doing like frog guys all the time. I think it started with this frog character I have named Reggie for something else, some other project I want to do. And um I was I found myself drawing like frog people all the time or frog characters. And then um it made me add this scene to the script where there were all these floating frogs. Um, Make this a little, yeah. There we go. I like that a little better. So I don't have to 
worry about it. So on the last page, the alien uh, Billy, whose name we don't know yet in the script, um, he fires this big blast at Bonehead. So Bonehead's reacting to that. There's all these frogs flying around. And... Uh, Bonehead's grabbing, grabbing this one for, uh, like, just in terror. Grab, grabs one of them out of the sky and, like, squeezes it tight. Oh, somebody messaged me today asking if I could help them design some character. Um, I guess I could try. I don't know what they want yet, but... I have a feeling it's not the kind of stuff I typically draw, if I had to guess. We'll see. Valentine's Day is coming up.
everyone's in love, the world is getting married. The groundhog saw his shadow, so it's winter forever. Actually, I don't know. Um, what is it on Groundhog's Day? On Groundhog Day, if it if it sees its shadow, six more weeks of winter. Is that it? Yes, I'm seeing that it saw its shadow, and there's going to be six more weeks of winter, because groundhogs are magical, mysterious creatures that that do that to us. We don't know why they came to this planet. But it seems to be weather related. Um, what else? So on Valentine's Day, I usually, um, I get, like, chocolates and flowers for my mom. Well, not chocolates for my mom, because my mom wouldn't eat them. But I always get her flowers, and I get flowers and chocolates for my sisters and all the 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 ladies that like my uh what do you call them my sister-in-laws Because I love them so. Because I'm one of them, them singles. On Valentine's Day all the dang time. There was one year a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. So I, one year I was driving around to all my sister's places. And bringing them all flowers and candy and stuff. And... It was like every, everywhere I went, like, I mean, I went to my one sister's house and, and traffic was terrible because it was Valentine's Day. Um, so I, I, I get to my one sister's house and she's front, her and her boyfriend were 
frying up steaks. Um, and then I went to my other sister's house and she'd been having steak. And I think like when I was, it was just like everywhere I was going, I was like, man, everyone's having steak dinner tonight. And, um, I was like, but by the time I got in my car to go home, I was like, man, I'm getting me a steak. And so I, I went to this restaurant and on Valentine's Day by myself <laughs> and got a, a surf and turf dinner. I was like, I don't even care if I look like a lonely fool here. And that was good. I was at this restaurant on, uh, on Valentine's Day by myself. It's funny. It's like everyone else there were couples. <laughs> They're like, and it'll be just you? Yes, just me. They're like, did you want the couples menu? I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> They're like, okay. Here's
That reminds me. Me and my me and my roommate, we used to do do like a steak night once in a while, where you just go out and get steak. And we were just talking about that. We we're like, man, we haven't done a steak night in forever. We should do that. Now I'm just wanting steak. I just keep thinking about it. I just got some Hello Fresh meals in the mail. What I get, I don't remember. There was some burger thing. And some other thing. I don't know. Oops. I think I can find out. Street cart style turkey bowls. Mmm. If I finish this page quickly, maybe I can go make that. Oh, hey, what love? I just remembered something. So, my mom was on here uh, a few days ago. And I was asking her, I, I was trying to get her to speak French. Because she, she was learning French in school, but she doesn't remember very well. Um, but... I was just asking her to read the the that painting by Magritte. The what is it? Ceci n'est pas un pipe. Is that how you say pipe? Or how, p i p e peep? Or am I saying that wrong? Someone told me I was saying it wrong once. <laughs> That I was saying something dirty, but I didn't. I don't know if I should believe that person. You know what I'm talking about? The uh, this is not a pipe. image this fellow what See, I knew it was gonna do that CC Nepal beep Oh, nailed it. Cool. <laughs> I 
I'm just wondering. But I also sound like a, a doofus when I put on my reading French voice. <laughs> I love this artist, though. Yeah, uh, Magritte. I I was just getting a glimpse of some of his other art, and I forgot about his other stuff. Rene Magritte. A lot of surreal stuff. I'll have to, I'll have to do some uh, Magritte inspired characters in my sketchbook tonight. Aside from uh, maybe frying up some food, I think I'm gonna try inking some of these faces. Um, that one in the middle that needs to be um, fixed. I don't like. I don't like this guy. I like all the other ones though. So far, I'm just gonna try and fill up the whole page of. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna try and fill up a whole page full of uh, faces. Um, let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, if I am able to get some pages scanned tomorrow, I can maybe do some coloring videos soon where I'm figuring out how to color these pages. That would be cool. So I can share the screen. And open up Photoshop. Or I might use uh, Manga Studio, which is outdated. Because they that program is called uh, Clip Studio Paint now. I still use the old version. So I remember a long time ago, uh, Manga Studio, they they upgraded from EX4 or whatever. And I, tr I like, EX4 is the one I still use, but they upgraded to EX5. And um, I gave it a shot, and I wasn't, I didn't like the differences. And so I never went back. But now it's called Clip Studio Paint, and it's got, like, all kinds of stuff you can do in it. It seems, like, really advanced. But it's also more expensive than it used to be, I'm pretty sure. But, uh... I know there's animation stuff you can do in it. I know an artist who animates in it sometimes. Um, though the animation, look, I mean, the, the way you animate in it looks different than what I'm used to. It would take some getting used to to try and use that to animate. That's another thing I should do on this show sometime. Animate something. So, the blast is going right into this frog's mouth.
So ambiguous, these lines. I I like this arm better. I didn't realize I'd, I had it on there twice. <clears throat> I <laughs> that didn't really hurt that bad, but I bumped my elbow and 
a little drawer here. Here's his legs. Frog legs. I've never had frog legs. But my dad has told me they taste kind of like... I'm pretty sure he said they taste like chicken, but kind of fishy. Chicken of the sea. Frog. I believe I've had alligator before, but it was, it was all breaded and stuff, and it was a long time ago. But uh, I think I liked it, but I feel like I would have rather tried it, like, kind of plain, you know what I mean? So I could have actually been certain what it tasted like. Uh, one time I think it was Easter, my dad had, uh, maybe it wasn't even Easter, maybe I just remember it that way, but, um, uh, we got rabbit for dinner, and my dad bought some rabbit for dinner. And everyone was like, I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to eat that. It really, like, polarized the house that night. <laughs> but, uh, and I, uh, I didn't eat it. But I feel like I've always kind of regretted not e e eating rabbit to see what it was like. I would, I would probably try it now. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> um, I... I've had octopus, which apparently there's some documentary out 
about why you, why you shouldn't eat octopus now. <laughs> I don't know. I've only ever had the tentacles. Like, I remember one time I went somewhere where it would serve the tentacles, and then it would serve, like, the little plump heads. I would not eat that. I didn't, I, I, I wouldn't eat the heads. And it's like, they're good. I'm like, good. Isn't there a brain in there? <laughs> Again, those were breaded and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like that kind of creeps me out, eating heads of anything. You know what I eat all the time is sardines. Like like an 80-year-old man. They're good. I have, I just remembered, I have a can of oysters, like a tin of oysters in my pantry. I don't know if it's still good. It's been sitting in there for a while. Oh, I just remembered. My mom just got a bunch of, like, Alaskan salmon sent to her house from my, my fisherman uncle. And I, I'm, I'm supposed to stop by at some point and get some of that. That's the good stuff. Wild caught Alaskan salmon. And I guess uh, a little later in the year, he sent he sends cod. That's really good, too. Oh, look at this. So the frog <laughs> blasts right into his mouth. And then he goes, nope. He swallows the blast and let's see what happens next on the, on the next page Uh, okay, just making sure I'm on screen.
Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la, cha cha cha. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la, cha cha cha. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my fingers so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I let him go again. Wait, no, I, I really messed that up. I don't remember.
So this shadow won't be here because of this blast. But I drew like this little drop shadow I've been doing. But that won't be there. Because the light would... That wouldn't happen. I'm no light scientist, but I know that doesn't make sense. Get out my trusty pencil. If it's so trusty, how come I can't find it? Here it is. Um. Oh, see, I shouldn't have done that line. I'm always drawing lines before I think. This one's still supposed to have flasks of poison on it. And... And then that shelf can be empty because he scooped them all up and threw them already. Now,
Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la cha cha cha. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la cha cha cha. What other words that song? I don't even know what song that is. Um, is it Go Fish? It must be, right? Yeah. Uh, by Cub. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my fingers so. Which one did he bite? This little finger on the right. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la cha cha cha. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la cha cha cha. I laughed with the clams, I gambled with the sharks. Whispered secrets with the starfish till my heart it tore apart. Ask me no more questions, I'll tell you no more lies. About my, oh, I, I can't even um, remember how that next line is delivered. About my sweet little swim to the other side. I didn't know that was the words. I wasn't prepared to sing that one. Underneath the water where everything is pretty, I met the girls and we went swimming. Held my breath until finally I died and left my friends for the other side. Everything was gold and everything was green. I saw a sea, a sea monkey king and a sea monkey queen. Fed me cottage cheese and chicken of the sea. Then they sent me on my way with a kiss on the cheek. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la, cha cha cha. Ooh la la, ooh e cha cha, ooh la la, cha cha cha. Where am I? Where am I? I like Cub. I like this all-girl punk rock band from the 90s and uh but like a lot of their uh music it's almost like nursery rhymes
Lose the skin you wore before Walk the other way My dress hangs there where you are I don't know. I don't... I haven't listened to these songs in a while. I'm realizing. It's one of my favorite bands. What the water gave me What the water gave me What the water gave to me Wear your bruises like new tattoos I don't know why I just remembered this. But this scene from my life just popped into my head when I was a kid. Um, this this lady who is like our upstairs neighbor for a while. Um, she she I, when I was like six, she she took me to um get Chinese food for the first time and I got like fried rice and uh, after I was eating it for a bit and she's like you know you know that's uh that's uh you know how they make that that's fried ants and I just got like really like like I just looked down and must have looked really disturbed for a second and then She's like, nah, I'm just kidding. That's all. That's the story. I don't know why it popped into my head, but... I had to share it, I guess. Okay.
Okay. There we go. I'm confused now, so let's see. Okay, this is going to be the frog's body. Okay, I'm calling it. This is this is a simple page. Sorry. Noodling now. So this frog. Shadow going this way.
I don't know. That's all I got for now. Whoa. <laughs> Snatches him out of the air. He eats the blast. Nope. And that's all I've got for tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Um, terrible. Terrible. Okay. Um, yeah. I will probably be inking some of these faces tonight. Maybe coloring them. Um, I'm going to get something to eat. I've got food on the brain. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe I might be able to pull off two pages tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. But man, I gotta, I gotta get some food and then I don't know, some sleep. Bye, what love? Bye, internet. I love you. See you next time. This has been Ink the Book Show.